make sure you're following us on Instagram at underscore life one stills. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm like such a little pussy proper. Like, girl, why do I have to get my hands clasped like this? Like, y'all can make jokes about me in the comments if you want, because I am like, hmm, hello, how are you? Yes. And it's like not even on purpose, but that kind of is just like how I talk when I'm like presenting. Yeah, fun stuff. We are back. Yes, the Life on Stilts is back. I'm excited. Can't you tell the girl's excited? Yes, back in action. This was my first time recording in a while, so as you can see, I was a little excited and having a lot of fun with it. If you haven't subscribed to Life on Stilts yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of videos coming up that you don't want to miss, and the support is greatly appreciated. Hey, what's up, guys? It's been a minute, but Life on Stilts is back. I had a lot of things going on um, since the pandemic, and honestly, a lot of it was probably like mental and emotional things, so I needed to take a break. I but like this YouTube journey is a process and I just started last year. So I am, you know, trying to hit my stride, but at the same time trying to stay sane in a world full of uncertain times. So I'm back, I'm back and I wanted to start off doing one of the things that I know people love, which is the fashion of the hauls. It will be like me doing a voiceover for the items because I did purchase a lot of stuff and I like to, you know, try to get through showing the items as quickly as possible. So that's what we're going to do. I hope that you're excited for these items. I did purchase all of these things over the last couple of months. So some of the things may be sold out, but a good amount of stuff is not. And that's why I still wanted to show you what I got from some of these other purchases, or I should say some of these more less recent purchases. So if you don't want to miss out on anything that's coming from here, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get alerts. And it doesn't even have to be pesky. You can set how how you want your alerts. Okay. I'm not I'm not picky. Just just follow the girl. First up, we have the Cuddle Bear Sleep Romper in the color Rose. I got this in a size large. It comes in multiple colors. Don't really know what the hood is for because it's a lounge outfit, but whatever. I really like this. It's a little sexy little join. You can have it buttoned up or buttoned down for a more sexy look. The sleeves are a little short on me. Next up, I have the It Must Be plunging top in off-white. I got it in a size medium. I went a size down because in the reviews, they were saying that the shirt runs big, and I agree. I think a medium was the perfect size for me. Next, I have the Kayla Seamless Bandeau. I got this in a size medium large. It is available in multiple colors. As you can see, I was not the most secure in that top but I don't think that it looks that bad after looking at it on camera. Next, I have the Meet Me Halfway sweater in the color burgundy. I got it in a size large, very nice sleeve length. I like that the sleeves are big. It gives you that big sweater feel, but it's also cropped. So this sweater comes in multiple colors. I also got it in the color cognac. It's comfortable, very warm. The cognac one was a little stank when I got it, but you're supposed to wash your clothes anyway before you put them on. Sexy but comfy look. Yeah, sign me up. Next up, I have the Venomous Bite tunic top in the color taupe and black. I got it in a size large. I like this shirt. The material is very soft. I also got the Tag Me In tunic top, and this is just like, the same type of top, same material feel. It just has graphics all over it. But tunic tops are really just slightly longer shirts for me because I'm so tall. I know that they're made for the long, kind of like almost dress shirt look with 
leggings or biker shorts. I also purchased the overdressed tunic top in the color white. I got this in a size large. I got the white and orange one so I could save this shirt for the springtime to wear with my orange Telfar bag that I just bought. This tunic top almost looks like a dress and most people probably could get away with it wearing as a dress, but it's not quite long enough for me. I mean, I could, I could try it, but I don't know. Next, I have the offline plaid top in a size large. I really, really like this top. Unfortunately, this top is sold out. I've had my eye on this top for a while and I was waiting for it to come back out. This is a really cute crop top, but it is extremely short. Really hard to wear this and keep my bra from not showing. Baby girl, you know my situation. <laughs> Next up, I have the baby girl tie front cropped top in the color burgundy. I got it in a size large. I really like this top. When I was younger, it was always the angel, princess, or baby girl. And I used to want the angel stuff all the time, but now I'm trying to be baby girl, you know? Next, I have the Ruffle My Feathers lounge set in the color rust. As you can see, I have the top alone by itself first and with a pair of jeans. I did that because that is the way that I prefer it. It's a cute set together, but I do like the top to wear with other things. I got this in a size extra large. This also comes in the color pink. I really like this. The pants are an okay length. They come to my ankle. The set together would definitely be in like running errands outfit. Next, I have the classic high waist denim jeans in the dark wash. I ordered these in a size 13, but they sent me a size 15. These pants are a reoccurring purchase. I do usually get a size 15, but I wanted to go a size down so that it would have a more snug fit because they do tend to get a little loose with time, but they really played me, like played me. These jeans normally come past my ankle. This pair isn't even seeing my ankle. What, I have no idea what this is, but they sent me the wrong size anyway, so I will not be paying for these. Next, I have the Flex Game Strong High Rise Skinny Jeans in the color Dark Blue Wash. I got this in the size 13. These jeans come in multiple washes. I got these jeans because they had Megan Thee Stallion um, wearing them, and she is the same height as me, I believe. So I knew that the jeans would be long enough. They aren't as long as I would have liked them to be, but I am not complaining. It's the fall, so I'll probably be wearing them with boots more than anything anyway. They are very flexible. They live up to its name. Big old freak. Big booty, big old tree. Hey. I was actually listening to that song while recording, so I couldn't help but dance. And I had to try them out, tried and true. Flex test passed. But I really like these ones as opposed to the jeans that I normally get that they sent me some fugazi shit. Since it's been a while since I've done videos, I wanted to share with you some of the videos that I do have coming up. I will be doing a fall picks part one and two where I feature clothes, shoes, skincare, and makeup. Plus more hair care and some other fun things that I picked up for the fall and winter time. So stay tuned for that. I will also be doing a showing of my shoes that I got from Shoe Dazzle. They did a collaboration with Rita Ora and I really, really like the shoes from that collaboration. So I got some really hot ones. So that will be dropping as well. I'll be doing an Ipsy bag review as well as my fall box box that I got from Influencer. Another video that I'll be releasing is me showing my routine for my skincare in the morning and night. Honestly, I've been working really hard to transform my skincare regimen. So I want to share that with you guys because it's extensive, but I think that it is 
giving me a lot of good benefits. So yeah, just make sure you are staying in tune with the things that are coming from Life One Stilts. I know I struggle with consistency. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to Life One Stilts. I hope you like all the items that I showed you today. They are all listed below in the description. The links to all of the outfits are out there. They're only not outfits I didn't put anything together. But speaking of putting outfits together, make sure you're following Life on Stilts on Instagram at underscore Life on Stilts so you can see these styled. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Life on Stilts and I'll see you next time.